What's up, everybody? This is Nick from Reading Underground Music, and we are here today for our Labor Day show. We have a very special guest with us. Um, what's your name, man? I think I think my name is Willie Black. I'm, uh, I think uh, we're gonna roll with that. Willie Black, yeah. Willie that's my Black. Name. I know you go by by multiple names. Oh yeah, yeah. Got uh, another name, Trash Thompson. He's here as well because I'm here, so he has to be here as well. So, so yeah. sort of like a slim shady alter ego type thing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, not as crazy. You know, Slim was on some other stuff. Uh, Trash Thompson is just uh, a big kid, you know, in the world. That's all. I got you. I got you. So, those are some pretty good names. I like them. How'd you come up with them? Oh, Willie Black. Uh, I had that name for a long time. When I first started back in 2006, actually, I used to go by the name uh, Blackburn. So, you know, when I left that situation and went completely solo, you know, I just took my actual first name and, you know, took the first half of that name and just put it together, Willie Black. Awesome, awesome. So before we get into how long you've been performing and all this stuff like that what what type of music do you do instruments you play things like that i just do rap i mean i play i play the trumpet but it's not incorporated yet 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 it's not soon to be or <laughs> uh i mean soon soon yeah soon covers everything so yeah soon <laughs> One day. I'm excited to hear it <laughs> yeah man <laughs> so you said you've been doing this since 2006 2006 actively yep it's long a lot of years, sixteen years, almost as old as me. <laughs> when 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 were you born? Two thousand two. I'm, I'm okay. three years. Ahead. I'm nineteen, so three years ahead. Wow, that's yeah, that is wow. <laughs> so two thousand six. <laughs> Have you always done like the same genre of music or the same kind of stuff? Or uh, you... not, yeah, not the same. I, I mean, it's the same genre. Hip hop is all encompassing. You know, you can try to break it down and be like, this is trap, this is experimental, but nah, it's all hip hop. Um, I've always done it. I always do it in some form or an, uh, another. Uh, my subject matter has definitely changed over the years. Um, I'm a married man with children now, so of course I'm not the same guy that was 19 talking about shooting people or whatever I was talking about. <laughs> so would you say that it's become more like... I want to say serious, but more yeah, more serious now. Less, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I don't know. I still have, you know. It's it's still fun. It's just more so. It's it always was true to who I am. It's just very much, you know. I I adjusted. I didn't. I didn't. Once I wasn't living that certain way, I didn't try to stay living that way in my music as well it all transition it's it's grown and it's it's mature to do a new there it thing. is blossomed it, it blossomed exactly that was a great word because they'll hear it uh, again during the show so that was a great word awesome man so what is your have you lived here in meridian your entire life or no i actually <laughs> was born here at maddie hersey hospital one of the last of the maddie hersey babies um but i grew up in newton uh, graduated there in 2005. Um, later went to MCC and fell in love with my college sweetheart. Hey, baby. And uh, yeah, I've been here ever since. So that was uh, 06. Uh, I met her in 07, though. So I met her in 07. I've been here ever since. Hell yeah, man. So what do you, what do you think of Meridian as a whole? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. I love it right now more so than I probably ever have loved it because of the uh, expansion downtown. Everything is looking beautiful. I see, uh, I see, you know, the growth and the potential in that growth as well. So things, things are they're doing a lot now. It's it's definitely getting revitalized. A it bit. Is. There's like the new Jimmy Rogers mural. There's our mural that we're trying to get done. Correct. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff going on. And of course, I love, I love more. Yeah. Appreciate it. I was actually about to ask you, what do you think of the store? <laughs> I love it, man. Um, just a just a great vibe. The the instruments, the the CDs. I'm um, gonna start back uh, collecting vinyl here soon, so I'll be here all the time. And you know, you can just come down and and kick it with guys like Nick. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. So. Back to the music talk, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say your like biggest influences are for your music? Three. I always give three, three people that credit. 
three artists that created it. It's uh, it's Tupac Shakur, it's Jay Z, and it's Eminem. I give them the credit for that foundational stuff because Tupac gave me the the courage to want to, you know, turn those short stories and poems into rap songs because that's what he was doing once I found that out. And plus, I got the nose ring now too. <laughs> and then uh, Jay Z, just from a businessman standpoint, and very clever with the lyrics on the on a, on a low key, so low key that you could miss how clever he is. And so I incorporated that. I call it Easter egg rap. It's like you got to be on the hunt for it. You got to know certain things to catch it. And then Eminem, come on, it's not much to be said about how that man surgically you know does that it's very mad scientist like it's very calculated and yeah he's pretty much just cemented himself in the the rap hall of fame by now (laughs) yeah he has he has so would you say that your music has i know we've kind of already touched on this Mm -hmm. but sound wise how much has it evolved since you started to now a lot (laughs) if if you were to go back and play some of my initial offerings I mean, it would, you could tell it was the same person, but it's, it's way um, less, uh, what I want to say, there was less confidence there. Confidence is key. And I built that and solidified it probably around 2013. But, you know, everything, everything before 2013 you're not going to be able to find that anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's curated on purpose. So 2013 being the point that I felt like I got good for sure. The world can hear that anywhere. Spotify, YouTube, uh, Apple Music, Deezer. Nobody shows Deezer love. Title. I I've, I've, I've never heard of it myself. I'm yeah. I'll have to look Go into get it. Go get Title. Title <laughs> pays the most. Go get Title. All right, so we previously <laughs> discussed earlier, you uh-huh. went by both Willie Black and Trash Thompson. Okay. Is there any kind of difference between the music you release as Willie Black and the music you would release as Trash Thompson? Most definitely. Um, Trash Thompson's music is more experimental, more uh, the whole the whole reason I did the Trash Thompson thing. Trash Thompson was born in the No Lace place. If you've ever been to the No Lace place, I don't have to explain to you where that's at. And so I made an album manic depressive cynical pessimist and that was supposed to be it but i clicked up with some guys out of seattle midnight mind state my god miss fit jaeger tom bomb and we've been working ever since oh yeah man so before we close up here um what what is your like spotify you know social medias things like that just plug yourself real quick before we get done yeah um Search Willie Black, no C, no space. That's W I L L I E B L A K. Uh, just Google that and you will find it. And Trash Thompson, um, yeah, Trash, and then T O M P S I N. You know what I'm saying? Put that in any of your little streaming thingies and you will find music, man. There's music out there, period. Right, man, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. I'm looking forward to seeing you tonight. Yeah, man. You know we're going to rock out. You want to give me a microphone dink? What's a microphone dink? Like like we're t- dinking glasses. Good job. <laughs>